trip behind the scenes With future country rock blues kings and queens Discover them first With Palm Bash TV Palm Bash TV Well, hello there. It's Paul Mass TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us. We got another great interview coming up for you momentarily. But before we get into that, uh, there's that subscribe button and the bell below there. Just click both of them, and every time uh, there's a new episode, you'll be notified. You can check those out. We'd love to hear from you in the comment section as well. So I hope you do that for us. If you go to Facebook, you can uh, get facebook.com forward slash Paul Mass TV. That's our. Uh, official uh, Facebook page. Just uh, like the page, inboxes, comment on the things you see there. We'd love to hear from you there. And uh, also, uh, you can email us at palmashtv one word at gmail.com and uh, you can use that not just if you're a band or solo artist wanting to be on the show, but we love fan mail as well. So if you're a fan, just send us an email and we'd love to hear from you there. And all of this is going to be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. In just a moment, we're going to have Dusty Marcus. He's from London, Ontario, Canada. And uh, he's a heck of an artist, and I think you'll agree with the song after the interview. And we'll get to that in a second, but first here's a word from uh, Smile World TV. So don't go away. We'll be right back. types of shows we're seeking. Let us help you share your creativity. For more information, email us at smilepublishing007 at gmail.com or you can visit our website swtvgetyourchannel.now.site. Okay everybody, it's interview time as promised and with us from London, Ontario, Canada, we have Dusty Marcus with us today. Thank you for joining us, Dusty. Thank you very much. Okay, so well, we're glad to have you here. Um, tell us about your story, because as you know, everyone has their own story on how they got to be an artist. I'm sure you have your own story. Why don't you share it with us? Yeah, well, I started um, playing, well, I was always interested in music since I was in um, public school. And I was, you know, went through the music program and learned to play the clarinets and all that. Um, but at about grade seven, I started to play the guitar. And um, my grandfather actually taught me the basic chords. And uh, it went from there. And from there, I was hooked. Um, once I got into grade nine, we used to skip school and go and uh, play guitars. And we had a great time. And uh, really got really serious about it in about 2009, I think, or 2010. And um, that's when um, things really started to come together. And I actually teamed up with um, some friends from back in the high school days that I'd run into again. And we, you know, we put everything together and uh, we formed a, a band called The Survivors. And um, from there, we formed another band called Decay and the Retribution. Our stuff is still up online. And we were together for close to 10 years, I think, but, uh, you know, everybody kind of went their own way. And, um, so I started using, sorry, using the name Dusty Marcus and, um, it's, it's my son and myself and, uh, we have a lot of fun. Well, that's quite a journey you got there. And, uh, and I hope your journey will take you very far in the next few years. And, uh, and uh, I know you'll make people happy with your music, and uh, that's what it's all about. Um, it is. Uh, what, are, what are some of the artists that you grew up with that really influenced you when you were, uh, you know, when you were younger that helped you influence your style? Oh, my. Um, there's so many. Um, wow. Um, Gowan, um, Glass Tiger. Those are two Canadian yes. groups. Um, uh, and then you've got Poison. Aerosmith, Kiss, I mean, the list goes on, and, and of course, Aha, the, all the 80s stuff, you know, um, 
So yeah, a, a lot of different influences. Um, big Paul McCartney fan. Um, I've seen him three times and, uh, when he tours again, I'll be right there in the front row. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true because you know Paul McCartney was with the Beatles, and you know they were uh, obviously legends, and he's a legend himself. And, and it's, he kind is. Of, it's kind of interesting you mentioned the Glass Tiger because uh, that's a name that uh, just doesn't come up often enough. But they did have that one song, you know, back in the eighties. You know, don't forget me when I'm gone. And, that's right. And. Um, yeah, that's about the only time you ever really heard of Glass Tiger. Uh, so, but but it's still a good song, I guess. So, yeah. Um, so so tell everybody where we can find you. You know, uh, they're probably watching this and they say, "I like to get Dusty Marcus's stuff. Uh, how do I get it?" So tell us a little um, bit about. Uh, is it all on streaming? I don't know if you have physical copies or not, but you can always volunteer that if you do. Yeah, it, um, it's it, go to dustymarcus.com, and. Um, you'll find my music on uh, every platform um, from iTunes to title. It's all there. Um, and everything's ready to, uh, to be uh, played and downloaded and, you know, and, and, and if you'd like, you can buy the album too. <laughs> so there is uh, physical copies as well, that like a CD or something. No, no. But what I am doing, actually, it's something that Sarah Smith uh, taught me when I was touring with her is that it's sort of the future of music. And what she did is she took a business card with her name on it, but integrated into it is a flash drive, a really thin flash drive. So you plug that in and there's the album right there. I thought that's just amazing. Wow, that, so, is, uh, that is amazing. I, I, I've known a few people that have uh, done similar things, though they, they put like their whole entire work on uh, flash drives. And you can buy like several of them and it has almost everything they have. And I've seen yeah. that a couple of times. So that's pretty interesting when they could do that, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I think that, um, you know, electronically, this is the future of music. I still collect records because I love records, but uh, you know, we don't collect tapes and stuff anymore. Everything has gone digital. And um, I've had people say, well, they'd like to buy a CD. Um, but I mean, we could do it, but I don't know how many we'd sell. I think for the next tour, we probably put a bunch together and uh, see what happens. Well, I know, uh, you know, Dusty here would really love it if you went to those streaming platforms and downloaded his music. Uh, he would love you for it, and I, I know you would enjoy it too. And, uh, and speaking of uh, his music, we got a video coming up for you in just a moment. It's called uh, Once in a Lifetime, and... Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about the song. Is there a good story behind this song? There is. Um, I wanted to, um, I had just finished recording a song called A Long Time Ago, which is the, um, the lead song for the album. And I wanted something that had a little bit more of a sort of a positive spin to it. And um, it's actually about my fiance, um, Candace. And um, it's, yeah, it's called Once in a Lifetime. Okay, well, well, it is a great song, and uh, and as I said, I'm sure the uh, our audience here is getting ready to watch that, and we'll enjoy that too. And uh, we'll get to that in a second, but uh, I think that's all the time we have for right now, Dustin. We want to thank you so much for coming back on, for coming on the show. Excuse me, uh, but we would like to have you back sometime if you got, if got ever got anything good to plug for us. So absolutely, just get in touch with me, and I, you know, I'm there. Okay. All right. Okay, well, without delay, let's go ahead and watch this Once in a Lifetime song by Dusty Marcus, and uh, we'll be back in a second. Come true. 
true Once in a lifetime What I feel is so new Once in a lifetime Ah, the song is for you Now and again I say this to you Once in a lifetime I tell you so true The feeling that I get When I look at you Once in a lifetime The song is so true And I'll tell you here and now My dreams have come true And I'll be forever more Indebted to you And I'll say forever more uh -huh, It's important to you Once in a while Someone comes to stay Once in a lifetime They don't go away Once in a time That I once knew Once in a lifetime I'm talking about you And I'll tell you now and then That dreams come true Once in a lifetime The song's about you Once in a lifetime uh -huh, The song is for you Once in a while I'll tell you so true Once in a lifetime I've fallen for you Once in a lifetime